In this data set are active fan-powered boxes with hydronic coils. These fan-powered boxes are smart parts and are adding up the airflow from their air systems and based on that data calculating and pushing GPM flow to the piping system. This is a very common application for an HVAC designer and one that requires hundreds of calculations. In addition, in the penthouse is a set of end suction pumps that will be used to circulate the hot water. There would also be envisioned a primary loop for several hot water boilers, but for the purpose of this lesson, the primary loop will be ignored. I will tile these two views. Both the pumps and the fan powered boxes have a hydronic supply and a hydronic return connector type. This gets a little confusing. The HVAC piping designer has forever called this system the heating system. It is just one thing. In Revit MEP, this system is actually two systems. It is the supply system and the return system. So, for the first system, the supply side, the pump discharge is the parent. The supply inlets on the boxes are the children. For the second system, the return side, the pump suction is the parent, and the return outlets are the children. I will create two systems, one named HWS and another named HWR. These system names will be used for filtering. In this view, Revit will look at all the piping in the view and any pipe, pipe accessory, or pipe fitting that has a system name that equals HWS will be turned red. The same will be true for HWR, only it will also change the line type to be dashed. To create a named system, select a child object. In this case, it is a fan-powered box. In the contextual ribbon panel, under the Create Systems panel, pick the piping button. This will bring up a dialog box called Create Piping System. Here I can choose the system type and give the system a name. Here I will enter in the name I want. This is HWS. I will then select OK. Next, select the Edit System button from the System Tools palette in the Piping Systems contextual ribbon. This brings up the Edit Piping System contextual ribbon which gives us all of the options to setting up a system. Note that everything on the screen has also gone dark and most objects faint. The only highlighted object is the fan powered box. This is a selection mode that only highlights the selected objects. Let's take a look at the contextual ribbon. Under the Edit Piping System panel there are three buttons. The first is Add to System. What this is referring to but doesn't really say is Add Child to System. The Remove From System is actually saying Remove Child from System. And Selecting Equipment should really say Add Parent to System. So to add children I will select all of the fan powered boxes. I will then select the green Finish Editing System. I will now select a box again and this time a Piping Systems contextual tab is visible. Activate th this tab. This activates the Piping Systems contextual tab. Now with Hot Water Supply under the System Selector highlighted, select the Select Equipment button. I will select the pump that will be the parent. Notice that the pumps that come with Revit out of box are set up to be global pumps. That means that they can be used for any pumped system. I have changed these already so that the discharge is a hydronic supply connector and the suction is a hydronic return connector. You'll have to do this to get these to work best. Notice that when I select a piece of equipment on the hot water supply piping system and select the Piping Systems tab, I can select the Edit Type Properties button. This is where I can specify the fluid type. 
Revit comes embedded with a series of fluid types, namely water and the various percentages of glycol solutions. You can set your own up if you have some crazy kind of fluid solution being pumped around, but that's out of the scope of these lessons. This system will have water of a fluid temperature of 180 degrees. These settings will change the, the viscosity and density values which are then in turn used for head, friction, and pressure calculations. So if you're using glycol for freeze protection in your systems, be sure to change these values here. Now do the same system creation for the hot water return children. To create the HWR named system, select a child object. In this case, it is a fan powered box. In the contextual ribbon panel, under the Create Systems panel, pick the Piping button. This will bring up a dialog box called Create Piping System. This time, I will choose the system type to be Hydronic Return and name it HWR. I will then select OK. Next, select the Edit System button from the System Tools palette in the Piping Systems contextual ribbon. This brings up the Edit Piping System contextual ribbon, which gives us all of the options to setting up a system. Note that everything on the screen has also gone dark with most objects faint. The only highlighted object is the fan powered box. This is a selection mode that only highlights the selected objects. Select the Add to System button and select all of the fan powered boxes. Now, select the Select Parent Equipment button and select the End Suction Pump. Select the Finish checkbox. Query a fan powered box. Notice that under System Names, in amongst all the other system names there is an HWS and an HWR. Query a pump. Notice that under the system names, HWS and HWR are listed here. Also notice that in the Systems Properties dialog, additional information is being populated. Now a GPM is listed of all flows that have been added to the system. In addition, a static pressure entry and volume is created. Currently, it reads not computed. When physical piping is fully connected, Revit will calculate the static pressure for the system. I recommend using this value as a suggestion to cross-check your own calculations, as the static pressure calculations are not quite as transparent as they need to be.